Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rise and Fall of Civilization Japan Episode 5. This is your Funky Honky and we are about to get our great artist. We're about to found the city of Sapporo. We've gotten started on the Great Lighthouse and we have a couple forges being built. So let's go. Boom. There's music. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start building a mine there. Here's our great artist. Have him hop onto the boat. And you get your way over to Keio, or Seoul, or Korea, whatever you want to call it. Boom! Sapporo! As I said before, good beer. So now, let's catch up. I think Alphabet would make a lot of sense here. And yes, absolutely a granary. Not a lot of food, not a lot of production. Sapporo, it's just not that great a city, except for the fact that you need it to get the resources that are up here. And trust me, there will be coal up there, right there, eventually. So, let's keep going. The fact that nobody else has built the Great Lighthouse already is really surprising to me. I'd be surprised if we finished it. And look at that, just like that, we're already number four in culture. And just you wait. If this ever happens again, as soon as I pop that great artist, we'll be number one. Half a million souls. Isn't that great? We're growing at a fantastic rate. Especially now that I stopped whipping everyone every chance I get. So, let's see. Everything's going swimmingly right now. We're getting the resources in line up there. Oh, and the great artist just showed up. So, now we've got, you know, decent culture. It's, you know, pushing against China a little bit. That is what a great artist does. <clears throat> China's not going to be too pleased about that. I bet you already. No, they haven't said yet where our close borders spark tensions, but they will. We're going to need to put a pretty decent garrison in there when we get the opportunity. Because it's just... Being on the mainland like that, it's the most exposed. And if I lose it, then I lose the game. So, don't want to risk that. Alright, we've made it over there. Now you go ahead and build a plantation on the die. And fortunately, these woods that we're going to be cutting down will be helping Sapporo to build its early stuff, like the granary and then the uh, harbor that it's going to be building after that. So that's going to be a good thing. Alright, we're still plugging away at um, the Great Lighthouse. I'm still surprised that nobody's built it. Alright, now we have the Arabs showing up. No, we're still happy here as Japan. One of the nice things about playing as the Arabs, as long as Islam has not been founded already, you automatically get it. Appropriate, right? So, four turns to the Great Lighthouse. That's looking good. It's feeling good. Things are going well here. As soon as I finish the Great Lighthouse, I think I'm going to keep going with uh, some World Wonders. Maybe go for the uh, Colossus next. Here we go. The Alphabet. This is a pretty handy, uh, handy Civic. So now, let's see, what do we got? I think construction makes would be a good idea. Oh, a bear. Or three bears. Fortunately, animal barbarians cannot enter your cultural borders. Only actual living, breathing human barbarians. Well, digital human, you know what I mean. They're the only ones that can actually enter your cultural borders. So... That's something, all right. We got two turns to the Great Lighthouse. Million souls. We were at half a million just a moment ago. Uh, no building the Colossus. Oh well. At least we got the Great Lighthouse. Now we got Khmer showed up. They are right down here or so on the map. Or Khmer. Khmer, I've never been entirely sure how it's pronounced, and I've been told from several people several different things. So I'm just not going to worry about it. Oh, you know what might be a good idea? To wake up this, uh... <laughs> I was wondering why they hadn't expanded yet. Alright, so now Sapporo is Christian. Um, let's see, there's not a whole lot for you, this guy to do. Let's go down here to build a cottage. That's probably a good idea, and then build another one here when he's done with that plantation. All right, carry on. Uh, 
Hmm. Now where, what direction should I go in with our techs? We've got several options in front of us. Nope, no settlers for a little bit. Hey, plus one! That's awesome. Plus one hammer. That always makes me happy. Um, currencies. Well, mm, should we just go to, uh, yeah, uh, code of laws. Code of laws is always handy. I'm going to hold off on that. Let's see, you get, oh yeah, you need to build me. I need a, another wonder from you. Apostolic Palace? It's handy. You get plus two hammers for every uh, Christian building if you complete it successfully. And that would be over quick. You know what? No, I think since the Colossus is gone, I'm going to hold off on World Wonders and uh, just build small stuff like temple and library and things like that. Because we should be—we're doing pretty well on score right now. In fact, let's check on the score screen. Um, of course, China's the only ones I've been in contact with. So, of course, they uh, have a higher culture than us. Or higher... Oh, you know what I mean. In fact, you probably don't. What I mean is the fact that we haven't gotten in touch with anybody means that their score could be higher than ours, but we wouldn't know. So now we're going to build Christian Monastery here. Just because Christian Monasteries go obsolete as soon as you discover scientific methods, so it's not a bad idea to knock them out. Okay, after that Christian Temple, as you can see, Tokyo is sick. So we're probably going to whip an aqueduct. It's usually a, a good way of taking care of things. Sapporo's finally getting its granary. And now we're just going to leave it alone to uh, grow as well as it can, which isn't that well. You come on down here. And let's go harbor. 19 turns despite starting that high. That, how lame is that? Well, anyways, let's see what time I got. I still got some time here, so let's keep rolling. And of course, my CD skipping back there. To bring about the rule of righteousness in the land, so that, that the strong, strong will not harm the weak. Hammurabi's code. So now we can build courthouses, which are very useful. They uh, reduce maintenance costs, and now we'll go currency. They reduce maintenance costs, and are the first things that you can use to generate. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that called. It, that unit is called espionage. Um, go ahead and knock that out now. We don't want Tokyo to be sick. Cottage there. Alright. Now Spain has started up. No thank you. Oh, okay, library. We just need to get Japan making as much good stuff as possible. Okay, now, uh, oh, they're sick too, so let's whip an aqueduct here. Spot. Yeah, and Egypt has been destroyed. Who saw that one coming? Yeah, go ahead and build a mine there, but we're just about running out of things for our workers to do. Hmm, how about you build... Yeah, Christian Temple would be a good idea now. Give me that do goody good bullshit. Now France is spawning. Don't want to join them. Currency. Excellent. Well, one thing that you might have noticed when uh, I built the Great Lighthouse. Oh, and I forgot to show you the video for that. Damn. Oh, well. Ooh, civil service. Absolutely civil service. That is a fantastic tech. You will see why. Um, yeah, market here. Let me zoom in a bit and show you something. There's the Great Lighthouse. And there's the Moai statues. How slick is that? 
and um, I think if you look closely you can see uh, there's your aqueduct running along in there can't really see the library unless that's it but I doubt no that's probably your palace right there but that's just I always thought that was cool that if you zoomed in really close you could actually see the buildings that you built in your cities and Poro's borders finally expanded good so I think it's about time for me to sign off this has been your funky honky with let's Play Rise and Fall of Civilization Japan. Stay tuned for episode 6, and I hope you'll see me next time.